Today, we find out if you're a real Finding Nemo fan or a fake fan. We'll start with the easy questions and then they'll just get harder as we go. Are you up for the challenge? Let's begin. Who helps Marlin on his journey to find Nemo? Dory, what do Nemo and Marlin live in? A sea anemone. Personally, I wouldn't love being stung every time I go in and out of the house. What kind of fish is Nemo? A clownfish. Hey, you're a clownfish. Did those feel a little too easy? Perfect. You'll want to earn all the popcorn points you can, because the questions only get harder. What does Nemo call his small fin? His lucky fin. How's the lucky fin? Lucky. I have a lucky pair of socks, but wait, that's not the same thing. Next question. What was the dare given to Nemo before he was swept up by Dr. Sherman? That he couldn't touch the butt, uh, boat. He touched the butt. What color was the mask the diver was wearing? Green. Spoiler alert, the same mask became the key to actually finding Nemo. If that did spoil it for you, you should probably watch the movie before taking this test. Did you get any of those questions wrong in the easy round? If so, don't swim away. I've got a bonus question that'll give you the perfect chance at an extra point at the end. What is the address on the mask that leads them to Nemo? Don't answer yet. Save it until the end. You might need that bonus point to win. All right, now we're entering the medium questions. Here we go. When Marlin and Dory are on their journey to find Nemo, they're given instructions to go through, but not over, what? The trench. When you come to this trench, swim through it, not over it. Maybe Marlin should have paid closer attention or at least listened to Dory. What kind of fish lures Marlin and Dory in before chasing after them? A lanternfish. How old is Crush? A hundred and fifty, dude! hundred and fifty, dude! And still young! Researchers often have a hard time telling how old a sea turtle actually can live to be because they outlive their research projects. But one thing they do know, they can be ginormous, like six feet long. Now, I hope you're prepared because things are about to get even harder. What does EAC stand for? East Australian Current. The East Australian Current. EAC? Oh, dude. The EAC is so massive, it spans 100 kilometers wide and goes 500 meters deep. What did the members of the fish tank nickname Nemo? Shark bait. Ooh, ha, ha. Shark bait. Ooh, ha, ha. Maybe just shark bait. Which character claims they're H2O intolerant, or rather, allergic to water? Sheldon. I'm H2O intolerant. Where is the dentist's diploma from? Pixar University School of Dentistry. They may need to double check his qualifications. Where in the film do we spot the iconic Pizza Planet truck? Out the window when Gil was planning their escape. This is actually the first time we ever see the truck with the steering wheel on the right and it driving on the left, since the movie is set in Australia. Okay, things are about to bubble up because it's time for the hard questions. Let's do this. What is the name of the automatic fish tank cleaner? The Aqua Scum 2003. Aqua Scum 2003 is an all-purpose self-cleaning, maintenance-free salt water purifier. They made the model number 2003 to reflect the year of the movie's release. In what other Pixar film do we first spot Nemo? Monsters, Inc. Name the two other Pixar movies referenced in the waiting room at the dentist's office. 
Toy Story and The Incredibles. We see a Buzz Lightyear toy on the ground, and if you look very closely, the kid waiting is reading an Incredibles comic. The Incredibles wasn't even set to come out until the following year. What famous shark is Bruce the Great White named after? The shark from Jaws. Director Steven Spielberg nicknamed the Jaws shark Bruce, and the makers of Finding Nemo wanted to pay tribute to the world's most famous shark. Ever since the people at Pixar took classes together in a room labeled A113, they've hidden it in every single one of their films. So where can we spot the Pixar trademark A113 in Nemo? It's the model number of the diver's camera. Final question, what is the name of the dentist's boat? The Aussie Flosser. Get it? Flosser? Dentist? And finally, here's the answer to the bonus question. The address on the mask that leads them to Nemo is P. Sherman 42 Wallaby Way, Sydney. Now the name on the mask is actually a pun for the word fisherman. Out of those 20 questions and the bonus question worth one point, how many popcorn points did you get? Are you a real fan or a fake fan? My name is Amanda and I love making these videos for you. Here are some more popcorn secrets I think you might like.